The way that the internet works, it's a machine, so it knows binary zeros and ones, and it uses them to address each other. So IP address is like, well, your physical address in the real world. And imagine the packets that are sent over the internet like envelopes. So on an envelope in the old postal system that a lot of younger generations now do not know or recognize, but when you would send out an envelope, you would write on it the sender's address, physical address, and the receiver's physical address. And the reason why you would do that is because, well, the postal service would be know who to deliver it to, and in case they cannot find you, they need to deliver it back to the person that sent it. So this is the concept in the internet of IP addresses, right? You also have something called autonomous system numbers. These are numbers that recognize the different networks. But because we as human beings, we recognize names more than numbers, this is why DNS, for example, was invented, domain name system was invented. So registering who is using these IP addresses, these domains, these ASNs, these ports is important to how we are able to deliver these packets back and forth over the internet. These are the two principles that are essential. If you take them away, you take away one of the, the, the fundamental characteristics that's made the internet the success that it is today, which is permissionless innovation. The ability for anybody to be able to put their service online and be able to communicate because there's interoperability and reachability because of the registration services. And that's really what the internet is about.